So there, I've bent all nine blades. As you may see, the first one only one slot. Also, the last one only one slot. And also, all blades are not the same. Same cutting, but not the same folding. This one is fold that way. This one is the mirror. Actually, it's the same thing, only folded the other way. Okay, so for this step, next step, I'll attempt to uh, carve some handles, wood handles for the first blade and the last blade. I guess it's okay. Now I have to cut these parts. Okay, here's the piece. Let's see if it fits. It's gonna go on top here and like that. So here is okay. Here. There's a gap. It's not okay. I'm gonna finish the job with a, uh, a rasp. Okay, so here I've cut out parallel lines to the inside here. It's not perfect, but that will do. And I've traced the cutting lines here and here. And now I will cut that with the pencil. Have to round the corners of course. Okay, so I took the same measurement for the other side, but this time it will go it fit inside here. So I'm gonna cut this. The corners has have to be rounded. This goes inside. So there, I have sanded the piece. Same thing here. Okay, so the next step will be to polish the blades. I will attempt to make it mirror. Now for that first step is uh, to use sandpaper. 
we will be using automotive wet or dry sandpaper so we'll start with grid 220 then we will use 400 800 and last 1000 the sanding I will use wet sanding but I will not use water so instead I'll use baby oil because I don't want to uh, uh, encourage the rust and uh, I don't have a sander so I'll be using a uh, sand pad and uh, using a uh, using a carpet tape I don't I only put uh, two strips there okay and another, another thing is uh, since it will be wet sanding it will splash a little bit so I'll, be, I'll, I'll use a mask and goggles and that's why I have long sleeves